Good morning, YouTube. How are you this morning? I'm pretty good. A little chilly, a little wet, but that's all right. It is about 940 Central Time, and I'm in Georgetown, Kentucky at International Crankshaft. Um, let's see where to begin. Fun, fun, fun. On Tuesday, when I last talked to y'all, I was waiting to load. And that began the first nightmare. I really shouldn't say nightmare. It wasn't that bad, but it was bad enough. Uh, generally, I ain't, we, I never have a problem there loading um, with stuff. But it was getting cold, and it was becoming a pain in the booty because the wind was picking up. I got it all set up, and I got around to my... They finally called me and went around to my spot, and... Uh, they came by and picked up my, my load plan and started putting stuff on the truck. And then they stopped halfway. Apparently, something was wrong with one of the products. A tag or something was wrong or missing or I don't know. And they said it'd be a little bit. So I said, okay. So I waited like 10 minutes standing outside, getting steadily more frozen. I said, the heck with it when it sat in the truck. Turned the EPU on, turned the heat on, and sat and relaxed and played on my iPad. About an hour and 15 minutes later, they came back. And they said, okay, we're getting ready to put this, continue, finish loading you. And I said, what was the problem? They told me about it. And I was like, um, okay. Well, they got out there, put it on there. And uh, I started securing it, putting it all away. And I was, I mean, I was down to the last chain. And the yard the yard foreman came by to check the load because they always do that before they, they give you your paperwork. And the load ended up being wrong. Something was still wrong with the product that they were putting on my truck. I have no idea what it was. He tried to explain it to me something about being one weight, saying it was another, and different tempering, and blah, blah, blah. So I had to take it all apart and put it all away. Well, I didn't put it away. I just left it laying on the deck. But I took, had to take it all apart, and they took the stuff off. I got back in the truck and sat for another 45 minutes. And then they came back out and put the same thing back on there and changed one of the tags. Finally got all that stuff secured, pulled off, tarped it. By the time all that was done, I had three hours left on my 14. So. I didn't want to do it, but I had to make some headway. I would have had to drive this morning. Not that in retrospect it would have been a bad thing. Maybe. So I ended up getting to Little Rock. And going to the yard there. I got on the yard in Little Rock with about 10 minutes to spare. I put it through the wash bay to get some of the road grime off. What well, little it did because I was going to go through the Blue Beacon, but I did not have time. Parked the truck, went inside, took a shower, and went straight to bed. Um, and that was, I think I went to sleep at 9.45. Um, I got up at 6.30 and uh, took off um, at 7.00. And uh, I drove the whole way here yesterday. Um, I did stop in uh, Glendale, Kentucky at the pilot and bought fuel and then washed the truck at the Blue Beacon. And I was so happy, so happy because the truck was perfectly clean. Perfectly clean. Perfectly clean. <laughs> and I got up here. I parked the truck at the end of the cul-de-sac like I thought was going to instead of going to the truck stop. I'm kind of glad I did because there was already four Mavericks back back there when I got there. And, of course, there's plenty of space. You can get, like, ten trucks on that little, not really cul-de-sac. It's a street that just goes down and stops. Just goes and stops. And uh, you have to, you pull into this one warehouse down here and you turn in their parking lot. And then you back down the street about an eighth of a mile or so. Well, I did that, parked the truck, got out, checked my load, make sure everything was still kosher. Thought about going ahead and untarping it, unsecure, um, untarping it and stuff, because they only care about the tarping um, to keep the road grime off. Once you're here, you can go ahead and untarp. Heck, you can unsecure in the middle of the night if you want to. They don't care. Um, matter of fact, the earlier you, the, the, before, you that you have untarped and unsecured when you get here before uh, uh, they even you even check in, they don't they don't care. Well, I thought about it, but it was like 24 degrees, and I said, you know what? Heck with it. And uh, I ate some dinner and I went to bed. <clears throat> and then I ch and I woke up this morning to snow. 
it was not that bad. It was coming down. It is really coming down now. You probably can't see it in the camera. Uh, in, through the, you know, this thing doesn't pick up snowflakes very well. But they're big, fat, fluffy, snake, fl uh, fluffy ones. And uh, we've already had about a quarter of an inch, and they're expecting two to four inches with localized four to six inches today. Hell. So I pulled out, got out, and looked at it, and I'm like, oh, oh well. Nothing I can do about it. Pulled, uh, then at 9, at the 8.30 my time, I pulled up, 8.30 Central, 9.30 their time, because my point was 10 local, 9 Central. Pulled up here, and just as I pulled up and pulled the brake, the guy walked up and, and uh, handed my bills, and he said, okay, cool. And we'll just get it, go in door three when it's your turn. There was a line of trucks. And I said, okay. He said, I asked him, do you want me to wait till I get inside to untarp since it's snowing? He says, nah, man, we don't care about that. We only care about the road ground, which I already knew, but I wanted to check anyway. So I got out in it, unsecured it, untarped it, unsecured it, put it all away. And just as I was done, the last truck was pulling out. And so I pulled up back then, got it off, and now I'm sitting out here in front. And I just got a load dispatch before I started making this video. I'm going up to Gent to American Stainless and I am picking up three coals and they are going to the TSA Processing Center in Houston due on Monday Monday I guess that is intended to be a home load I'm not going home I will stay out this weekend it's a thousand miles and the reason being is I want to be, I need that money, at those miles on this week's check. If I put, if I get there by a Saturday night, which I should, unless something really bad happens, uh, then, I, then I'll have 2,500 miles for this week. I really need those miles on this week. Um, bad part is, it is snowing all over Kentucky and Ohio. Matter of fact, it's snowing as far as, for what I can see on the radar, it's snowing all the way to Arkansas. So, we're going to have some fun in the snow. Um, bad part is, my appointment in Gent is not till 7.30 tonight. So, I will have to, I will go up to Gent, I will park, and I will load, and I will just stay there and leave in the morning. Because the snow is supposed to end by this evening uh, sometime, and I would rather let it be done. I don't have a problem with it. I can drive in it. Well, I do pretty well. I've never had a real problem, but most people can't. Most people can't drive it. So, going to be kind of a one of them days. So, I'm heading to Jet. Enjoy this unloading video. <laughs>
Good afternoon, YouTube. How are you this afternoon? I'm not too bad, really. Um, it is 1.30 Central Time, and I am in Gent, Kentucky, at U.S. Stainless. Um, it took about two hours to get here. Um, it's about 85 miles. Not too bad of a drive, really. The roads aren't too terribly bad yet. Um, they've updated the forecast, so it's going to... Temperature is supposed to drop another 10 or 15 degrees by evening, and the snow is supposed to pick up. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's coming down. Um, came up 75 and got on 71. Stopped at the Loves just down the road. I guess it's maybe 10 miles away. Is that the exit you get off to get in here? Uh, got a sandwich and uh, cleaned the windshield because it really, really needed it. I kind of need to stop. And get some new windshield wipers. I got one that's going bad. But uh, I can take care of that tomorrow. Um, got here at uh, 1230. Checked in. And uh, they told me that they're backed up. Because of the weather, I guess. This place is packed. The, uh, the staging lot is pretty much full. It took me a few minutes to wait for someone to pull out so I could pull into a parking spot and of course there's everybody here there's Maverick TMC there's other independents there's a couple of prime this good place gets a lot of business so I am going to be here a while if they wait even if I go in at 5 30 when my appointment time is which is 4 30 central that will I'll still have about six hours available but this place is notoriously slow when you get in, when you get in there so I'm probably going to end up spending the night here. If not, I'm going to try and make it down the road about 60, 65 miles to a couple of truck stops that are on the way to uh, Louisville, Kentucky. And then tomorrow, take off and head down and stop in Little Rock for Friday night. And while I'm there... Maverick 15088, you got a copy? That ain't me. Um... Stop in Little Rock, get my windshield wipers replaced, and I'm going to have them look at my uh, the fuel sensor in the fuel tank because it keeps reporting that I'm out of fuel. Matter of fact, it's been doing it for about a week. I thought maybe it was just the cold, but it hasn't responded at all today. I do know how much fuel I have because I, up there in the corner of the windshield, I always write the mileage down on when I bought fuel, and uh, I'm getting about 900 miles to the tank on average usually and my fuel mileage is down right now because of the, the winter blend that I bought up here this week and uh, so we'll just have to see I'm gonna see if they can take a look at it if it's not gonna take them too long I'll get them to fix it if not I'll spend the night in Little Rock on Friday night and finish the drive to Houston on Saturday and park at the Flying J in New Caney for the rest of the weekend and then drive in really early on Monday morning because I have a fixed appointment of 7 a.m. That will still give me a reset and uh, so it won't be too bad. I mean, I got to look at it. I could go home, but it would add 135 miles or so to my trip and then I would I'd be in danger of not getting a reset. I really want the reset, but I really want more than anything. I want the bulk of these miles on this week so that's pretty much it for today um y'all seen me load coals before so there won't be a loading video so i'm gonna sit here and watch it snow so until next week i guess unless i decide to do something between now and then keep the shiny side up 73s Stay warm and be safe. Bye.